Hello. <laughs> you might be wondering what this is. But basically, I have... I'm sick. I have had a runny nose for like two days. Today and yesterday. And it has not stopped at all. It's been terrible. I haven't slept. It's pretty sucky. I'm sick. I have a sore throat. I'm achy. It really sucks. Anyway... Uh, I am now in Hohoi. I was in Medina for four months, and now I'm in Hohoi. I've been out for five months, and I love it. This is awesome. My last companion was Elder Nathan. He's from Nigeria, and we, we had a great companionship. It was difficult at times, but we were good friends at the end. My new companion is Elder McBride. He's freaking awesome. We get along great. He's actually right here. You can wave. Yo! Yeah. We're chill. We hang out. We talk. It's awesome. And we're in a four-man apartment with Elder Kusanika and Elder Gunnel. We are both covering Hohoi. And then the main road separates our area from their area. So it's kind of cool. Uh, how I feel since opening my call been pretty crazy. Five months I've been out here and I don't know it's just kind of weird because I'm almost a quarter of the way done with my mission and it feels like I just started. It's really weird but how I feel about each of my family members oh man I, I don't know lately I've noticed every Monday when I call home, I just get in a weird mood. Just because, like, I'm with them on the phone, but I'm, like, so far away. And when I talk to them afterwards, I just get kind of in a weird mood. So it's like I love them so much that when I talk to them over the phone and not in person, it just kind of feels weird. So I think tomorrow is our P day, Sunday today. I don't know if I'm going to talk to them on Monday. See see what happens. See if it's good for me, see if it's bad for me. Not because I'm mad at them or anything. Just because it just it just kind of hurts to call them each week and be like, Wow, I am so far away and I miss you so much. So we'll see how that goes. Just because it just, it just kind of hurts to call them each week and be like, Wow. I am so far away and I miss you so much. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'll actually stick to it. Well, I don't really know, but I'm going to try. And I love this next question. How I feel about my future wife. <laughs> wow. I talk about my future wife a lot. Me and other McBride, we talk about, you know, things that we would like in a future wife. Um, firstly... You have to be able to handle this dude. My personality, my everything. I mean, look at this. Who does this? What is this? <sighs> it's pretty bad. Also, I can't cook. I haven't cooked like at all this mission. Number one, there's nothing American to cook here, and I don't know how to cook Ghana food. And we have like a stove that you take camping to cook with. Don't even have an oven, so it's really complicated, confusing, it's just a hassle, expensive, so I don't cook. So if you can cook, that is freaking awesome. And to be able to, like, love me the same amount that I love you, because I feel like I have, like, a lot of love to give, and if I don't have it, like, matched or even more than with the other person, I don't know, I feel like that would just suck. So, I hope that my future wife will love me as much as I love her. And be able to handle me and, I don't know, help me learn and grow. And I'll do the same for her. It'll be awesome. I can't wait to be married. I want to get married super fast off my mission. I don't know if it'll happen. I don't really know. But I do know that I want to be married. So, some advice for myself would be, I don't really know, just study as much as I can, 
lately, I've been studying this book called The Saints. You've probably heard of it because you're all, you know, members of the church, probably. But, yeah. I've been studying that a lot and it's been building my testimony about Joseph Smith and about the whole background story of that, that process. It's crazy. And <clears throat> some more advice would be to take care of my things. My guitar here. I got here to Hohoi the first day and the string snapped. I don't know how. I had a lot of problems. I broke this front brake the other day. Don't have brakes. The brake pads are squeaky. It's really scary. Take care of things. And just keep things clean. I've learned that. I hate I hate clutter. I shouldn't really say that though because my desk is kind of cluttery. I don't really like the clutter, but you know. And I like things clean. And advice would be to take medicine when you need it. Because I don't know if I have malaria. I don't really know. I've kind of forgot to take my doxy a few days ago. And so take your doxy and take pills that your parents send you. My parents sent me with a lot of pills. I don't really take them other than like headache pills and stuff. I've taken quite a few of those in the past few days because my head's been killing me. But yeah, so that's my advice. Stay healthy and try to eat food that is not the same. I haven't had like vegetables and fruit. Well, I've had fruit, but I haven't had a lot of vegetables because there's not much here. So yeah, I am going to hear my testimony about the restoration. I know that Joseph Smith, even though he was a young boy, he had he had a a wonder, a hope to find the true church because there was a lot of confusion. I know that he acted in faith. He read the Bible and found a scripture that really touched him and he acted upon it. And I know that when we act upon our faith that you will see miracles. I know that that can happen because I've I've done it myself. And as I've, as I've been reading the Saints book and learning from my companion, learning from my other missionaries and experiences, I've learned that when we act upon our faith, we will see miracles. I know that Joseph Smith, he restored this church through the power of God and also through the help of his counselors the 12 and his friends, his family, and he had their support all along. And I know that God is our number one support. No matter where we are in the world, if we're in Africa, 7,000 miles away, if we're in Portugal, Australia, whatever, God will be your number one support. I know that to be true, and I say that in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Okay, so uh, I kind of want to talk about one thing. Um, this is what I eat. Literally, you probably can't see very well. I eat oats every single morning because that's all I can cook. But yeah, I thought I would share that because that'd be kind of cool to remember. So, this is my... I think it's my sixth or seventh interview. And I've been up for five months. So, yeah. There we go.